Well, a precious flea show find, a cross-country flight, and a very grateful family of a World War II veteran. Yeah, all our elements in our Bay Area Proud story this evening. An update to a story Garvin Thomas first shared with us a few months ago, and an update about a very special delivery. A few days before Christmas, Robert Corpus took a red-eye flight from the Bay Area to North Carolina. Robert didn't get much sleep on the plane, though. He kept dreaming he'd forgotten what was in that bag, the whole reason for his trip. And I would wake up, start on the middle of the, middle of the flight, and then check, look underneath my, uh, my, my seat, make sure, okay, it's still there, the bag is still there. In that bag was something Robert had stumbled across a few months ago while perusing the booths at the Alameda Point Antiques Fair. We got a, a photo album. Robert had discovered the life story in pictures of a World War II veteran, Joseph Giampino. Now, this album could not have landed in better hands. So many have passed away in the past two years. Robert, you see, has dedicated roughly half his life to preserving the stories of World War II veterans. The group he founded, the Spirit of 45, can be found wherever there's a chance to honor and preserve the memory of the greatest generation. So when Robert saw the album, and the inscription inside saying it should have been sent to Joseph's grandson years ago. Well, Robert knew exactly what he had to do. Hey, Chris. Yeah. Wow. He bought the album, tracked down Joseph's family back east, and got on a plane. And then this one, you know, had all this stuff. Like, oh, wow. Robert didn't trust mailing something so precious. Wow. Really? Joseph's son and grandson poured over each and every picture most of which they had never seen before. It was also something new to Robert. He spent much of his time racing to preserve the stories of World War II vets while they're still alive. This experience, though, taught him he can still fill a need and keep their stories alive even after they are gone. Garvin Thomas, NBC Bay Area News. Mm.